It is hard to say that there are specific breeds of dogs that are dangerous. The way that a dog turns out depends on how the dog is raised, how he is treated, and his living conditions. That being said, there are some breeds of dog who are more prone to aggressive behavior than others. So, in this video we will discover the 10 most dangerous dog breeds. So, let's begin. Number 10, Alaskan Malamute. A dog that is strikingly similar to the Siberian Husky. The main difference is that the Alaskan Malamute is much larger than their wolf-life counterparts. These dogs can weigh almost 90 pounds and stand 26 inches tall, so they are quite large and powerful. They are also highly energetic, and they love jumping around and getting into mischief. Unfortunately, these dogs are not known for yielding to the wishes of their owners, so they have to be trained well from a young age. The Alaskan Malamute is one of the dangerous dogs, because of their powerful bite and willingness to use it against others. Number 9, Doberman Pinscher. The Doberman Pinscher has an iconic silhouette that is easily identified by the cropped ears, straight back, and look of constant alertness. These animals have been used as guard dogs, a job they performed so well that they have become almost synonymous with the job. The name Pinscher comes from a German term that refers to their habit of attacking and biting prey. This is another breed that was bred for generations to become perfect attack dogs. It should not be any surprise that they are quite dangerous. They stand between 2 feet and 3 feet tall and weigh upwards of 80 pounds. Number 8, Boxer. Boxers are interesting dogs because they are simultaneously incredibly dopey in terms of their looks, but they were bred to be working dogs. These dogs have a lot of energy and they can weigh up to 80 pounds of muscle. When you combine their physical capabilities with their protective nature, it's easy to see why boxers can be so troublesome. If someone the dog doesn't trust does something they perceive as threatening near their owner, the dog could capably attack. Boxers only caused seven deaths in recent years, but they have a propensity for non-fatal bites as well. Like other dangerous breeds, you should only get this breed if you know how to handle and train a dog. Number 7, Siberian Huskies. Siberian Huskies are valued for their wolf-like looks. You shouldn't be too surprised to find out that dogs sharing looks with wild animals behave a little like them. Huskies were used as sled dogs in the coldest reaches of Canada and the United States. Although they weigh only 60 pounds, they're strong for their size and very independent animals. These dogs are highly motivated by catching prey. Most animals that are smaller than them, including humans, can look like prey to them. Although these animals are friendly most of the time, they have been known to attack children and adults that challenge them even with no history of aggression. Number 6, Dogo Argentino. Also known as the Argentinian Mastiff, the Dogo Argentino is one of the few dogs that can give pit bulls a run for their money when it comes to sheer aggressiveness and tenacity. In fact, this breed is considered so dangerous that it is banned in multiple countries, including Australia, Singapore, Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. The Dogo Argentino was bred to hunt big game and protect its family. As you can imagine, traits such as aggressiveness, gameness, and raw, unbridled power were highly favored when designing this breed, which is why you must socialize them early to keep those traits in check. Number 5, Bullmastiff. Devoted, alert, and fearless are all terms that apply to the Bullmastiff breed, and that is why people value them as pets. They'll protect your home and yard, but they might not enjoy the presence of outsiders, and that behavior has to be curved at a young age to prevent attacks. Although attacks by bull mastiffs are relatively infrequent, the fact is that these dogs are so large that when they do attack a person or another animal, the damage is severe. They can reach 130 pounds and stand 27 inches tall or more. These dogs were responsible for 3.2% of all fatal attacks that occurred over the 13 years of the study, representing just 14 deaths. However, when you consider the relative rarity of the animal in the US, it's a sign that the dog is dangerous. Number 4, American Bulldog. The American Bulldog is a powerful working animal that has not been overbred to uselessness. Standing just shy of 30 inches high, these dogs can pack on muscle and weigh over 100 pounds. They're thick, strong dogs that are very dangerous when they attack. During the 13-year study, American Bulldogs were responsible for 15 deaths, about 3.5% of all fatal attacks. Although that is not a large number, it's significant when one considers that this breed is rarely mentioned alongside some of the other dangerous dogs. Don't make any mistake, this breed has a powerful bite and the ability to jump high enough and hard enough to knock an adult flat on their back. 
Number 3, German Shepherd. German Shepherds are working dogs that have been put to use in militaries and police forces in recent decades. The reasons for this choice are obvious, these are robust, intelligent, powerful, and dangerous dogs that can inflict deadly attacks on people. Weighing about 90 pounds and standing over 2 feet tall, the German Shepherd breed is perfect at curtailing human threats. The generational breeding into working dogs has resulted in a highly effective tool. Unfortunately, this breed excels in aggression and territoriality, and they were the cause of 20 deaths, about 5% of all dog bite deaths, and numerous non-fatal biting incidents. The only silver lining is that this breed is highly trainable. Number 2, Rottweiler. Rottweilers were often considered one of the most dangerous dog breeds in the world. These dogs can grow up to 25 inches tall and weigh 120 pounds or more and still be healthy. They have large bodies and a temperament that can turn foul in some situations. Specifically, the dog will become very friendly and protective of those in its household, but that protection is not extended to visitors. During the same interim as we discussed, the Rottweiler was responsible for 45 fatal attacks, comprising 10% of all fatal attacks that were witnessed during that period in the United States. Rottweilers also have a dreadfully powerful bite that they know how to use to great effect. Number 1, Pitbull. Although, it should come as no surprise to most people who study dangerous dog breeds, the Pitbull is the most dangerous dog breed. According to the study, over a period of 13 years, the Pitbull was responsible for 284 deaths, roughly two-thirds of all fatal dog attacks in the United States. That is a rather discouraging statistic when one considers that only 6% of all dogs in the United States are pit bulls. They were bred to be dangerous for generations as hunting dogs and fighting dogs, so it is no surprise these dogs continue to be a threat to this day. Another reason pit bulls are the most dangerous dog breed is that they have large bodies, strong jaws, and great killer instincts. Human beings and other animals don't stand a chance against a pit bull. Still, many people insist these animals are merely a product of their upbringing and have loving pit bulls as pets. The dog breeds we've discussed in this video are dangerous enough that owners need to take extra precautions, but that doesn't mean they are too dangerous to own. Most of these breeds make excellent companions with proper training and socialization. Every dog is different, and those raised in proper settings and not subjected to prying children or other pets have a good chance at remaining peaceful throughout their lives. So, that's all in this video. If you like the video, then hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to share this video.